So hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm here to give you my Leeds United vs Arsenal preview line for our game tomorrow, kicking off at half past five at Ellen Road. Let's get right into it. So on this day exactly remarks two years of True Gunnar. That is right guys, I've been uh, out now for two years, making my channels and doing my videos and all that stuff. It's been, I can't believe it's been two years. So uh, later on today I'm actually going to release a video where I'm going to be reacting to all my old videos from two years ago and all that stuff just to see how much Shugun has progressed um, and I actually can't believe it's been two years, it's been absolutely crazy so I want to thank everyone, thanks everyone, for the, thanks everyone for the support as always and still two years to this day I still can't speak properly on this out but anyway let's get into the preview then, Arsenal taking on Leeds away from home on Sunday uh, what am I about? on Saturday, tomorrow, yeah I'm, a little, I'm losing track of days but yeah, uh, tomorrow kicking off at half past five, you watch it on Sky Sports or any streaming site or whatever you want to watch and um, we, we're going to go to Ellen Road and play Leeds who have just lost 7 nils to Manchester City and they're in 16th in the, in the Premier League right now BL support's uh, you know, failing for them, you know, they've been really really poor and I think this is a real chance for us to obviously <laughs> we've got, I mean I don't really want to say we've got lucky with with some of the results because you know they have got games in hand West Ham's games got called off against Norwich got postponed uh, Spurs' four games got postponed uh, Man United's two games got postponed so I don't really want to say that's lucky because they, they're going to play they've got, still got games to play but what, what, what I will say is it'll be really nice just to see us you know four points clear if, and yes I know they've got games in hand and all that stuff but it'll be really nice to see us four points clear if we do beat Leeds into that top four um, but yeah, the question is, am I confident? And yeah, I am pretty confident. I reckon we're gonna absolutely. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna absolutely battle them like Manchester City did. I just reckon it's gonna be a really, it's gonna be a really, really tight game. And um, my score prediction will obviously explain that because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna for just a one 0 Arsenal. You know, away from home, we we ain't been that great away from home. I think the best performance away from home was against Leicester when when, when we won two 0 and that was uh, um, that was probably our best away performance of, of the season. Uh, there's also been games against Everton, against Brighton, where we just haven't really turned up. Obviously, got battered against Brentford, got battered against uh, Man City. So there's been those sort of types of games where we just haven't really turned up away from home. So I don't. This is what this why I don't think we're actually going to uh, battle them because I do think we can easily beat them. Um, we've already played them this season already in the Carabao Cup when we beat them two 0 uh, and yeah, it was Carabao Cup. You know, both teams were playing. The, um, you know, both teams have, were playing like a rotational squads and all that and you know so they, they weren't playing you know I don't think Rafinha played I don't think Bamford played that game either so yeah um, this Premier League now it's going to be interesting to see and I reckon we will we will win 1-0 like I said comment on your I can't speak today can I I'm so tired sorry guys comment on score down below and uh, without further ado guys I reckon that we're going to win 1-0 and there's something else I going to talk about um, oh yeah of course in terms of like, the recent games that we played against Leeds uh, last season was actually 0-0 that was funny enough Nicola Pepe got sent off that game, um, that was when it was 0-0, uh, we'd been at 4-2 as well last season and then the season before that we obviously they haven't been in the Premier League for ages so you know that, the last time we actually won at Ellen Road was years and years ago um, but no nah, yeah obviously we beat them in the FA Cup a few years ago as well 1-0 with Reese Nelson and this season we've we beat them 2-0 so yeah I, I'm, you know I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a 2-0 uh, sorry a 1-0 after win and let's get around to how I put it along. So I of in goal and Rams out. Simple as that. Every single game now he's gonna be starting. Of course, Burn Leno will be starting against Sunderland. Uh, Sunderland when I do go, I'm going to that game as well. I'm gonna bring back Matchday Vols guys. Matchday Vols gonna be back for Sunderland. They're gonna be back for Burnley. They're gonna be back for Wolves as well because I'm going to all them games. So yeah, set your reminders on right because it's gonna be really good. But anyway, Rams out going goal. Uh, the back four: Tommy Caffrey right back, Ben White and Gabriel in centre backs. Kieran Tini left back. It's the easiest uh, lineup I've ever done because we're, 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 we're on a nice winning streak at the moment. We kept two clean sheets in a row. So you're going to keep the same goalkeeper and the same back four. Hopefully he does, you know. So Tierney will go back in there. Tommy Cafu, Ben White, and Gabriel. The midfields, this is every time we have the midfield selection um, because it's like I, I personally want to see Sam Lukonga back in. Bring Lukonga back in, right? Drop Jacker uh, or drop Pai, one of them, because both, both of them have been. I mean, Jacker's been decent, but Pai. Not good enough, and uh, we're gonna go look on the guard. And alongside him, I'm gonna go. With, okay, it's gonna have to be either one of Jack or Party. He's been this, so yeah, well, I'm gonna go Party um, for this one. But if he gets dropped, then I'm not gonna complain because he's been absolutely shocking. So uh, yeah, we'll see Thomas Party and Lokonga, and then we have the front f uh, number ten Odegaard. Uh, no, Odegaard. I don't even want to drop Odegaard. 
Why? I'm, I'm going to play Smith Rowe number 10. Oh, sorry, we're going to play Odegaard at number 10, right? We're going to play Odegaard. We're going to play Smith Rowe on the left. We, we can't do that either because Martinelli's been, been in good form. Um, all right, so... Well, we're, we're going to go for Odegaard, Martinelli, Saka and Lacazette because I thought all of them were absolutely superb against... Um, against uh, West Ham, so they're undroppable because they're really good. So yeah, Smith Rowe again, although he did score, is unfortunately going to have to start on the bench because I, I would have put him on, on the left wing, but Martin Lee's saying you can't drop Martin Lee. You can't, you can't drop Martin Lee. So yeah, if we had to look at my 11, for, for, for instance, in goal would be Ramsdale, uh, right back Tommy Yashu, centre backs Ben White and Gabriel, <laughs> left back Tierney, uh, midfield, to, uh, you know what, probably Calvin Phillips, I think, walks into our midfield, so he'll go in there. Phillips will walk into our midfield. Um, then you could have, of course, like Party or something like that alongside him. Uh, we go Odegaard, Smith Rowe, one of them, either of them. We'll go with Bamford up top, you know. We're going to go with Rafinha on the left and then Saka on the right. So, yeah, but that's what I was going to say. I we won. They'll serve out, um, you know, the message previous, but it's been. It's not been my greatest preview, uh, preview is it? I mean, I'm struggling as a talk. It's just that I'm really tired, guys. I need to get this out very quickly because the game is tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. Come on, you're going to skip this winning streak.